Alright guys, so I don't do trailer reactions much, but I have to talk about the new Avengers Endgame trailer which came out today. Um, the thing I love about this second trailer is that it literally, again, like the last one and the TV spot for the Super Bowl that came out first, all three of these trailers are literally so... so uh, they, they're just so secretive. And the thing I like is that we literally have not... In these trailers, we have literally not gotten any anything related to the action of the movie, anything related to what happens to these characters. And you can tell that this is a company that wants to make trailers where you don't see the whole movie. And I love that because there's some trailers, like that Pet Cemetery 2 trailer, which I hated, that came out recently that did the whole like reveal of this thing in the movie, and I hated it. And the thing I loved about this is that this trailer alone as well does not show much. It is very secretive. The only thing you know is that these are the only Avengers left in the world. Half the world is gone, uh, disintegrated. So they're literally on their own in a fight which seems unwinnable. Now... The thing I did love about this trailer was that we got a lot more of... It showed, like, at the beginning flashbacks of the four main Avengers, um, like Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, and Hulk. And... Uh, not as much Hulk, but the other three. and Because Hulk was played by Edward Norton in the 2008 movie. But the thing I loved is that they're really making a marketing ploy where it makes it seem like anybody could die. And, like, literally for good die, because I know a lot of these characters that died in the last movie are going to come back. But this one, they are really ramping it up to the fact that some, someone or a lot of them are going to die. And my theories on this movie, and I'll have this in writing, and by writing I mean this video, that I will have this theory that I hope comes true in that... The way that the snap can be fixed, the way that they can reverse the snap, is to kill off most of these alive Avengers. Um, I, I mean, it will be sad and horrible to see these characters go, but there's got to be a sacrifice, and I feel like to reverse the snap, it's got to be these heroes that are alive have to go, and I wonder if that's the way they're going to do it. And even though they've got this new quant uh, quantum realm armor that that is literally like the armor that I think is the equivalent of using armor that Ant Man had um, in the quantum realm to to maybe deflect Thanos from doing like his snap or something. I wonder if that is related to to that connection. Um, so I really loved that as well, and I really loved even though she was only in the trailer for like a. A couple seconds, Captain Marvel was in the trailer, but they're really keeping her very secret. And I really, it, it ups the anticipation because this character you just saw in Captain Marvel is a badass character who does all of these crazy things, and you don't see anything of it in the trailer. And I love that this really is an incredible, uh, really a, an incredible anticipation seek, uh, seeking trailer. Um, or building's anticipation trailer because you really don't see much but little tidbits but I really had to talk about it I just I am so incredibly excited for it and that poster is blows me away it's incredible how the poster looks and I I just I feel like I know where it's gonna go but I feel like the Russo brothers are such competent directors that they're not gonna do the typical superhero movie thing and I wonder if, I know they can't do this, but I wonder if they didn't reverse the snap in the movie, like they literally half the world's still dead. I would have, that would have been a very interesting way to go, but it's not going to be that way because it's a Disney movie. It's not going to have that way of killing off their characters for good, but I would have liked to see that happen. Like that would have been because I know these characters are coming back um, in the next movie, and who knows, maybe they might not. Maybe this is like the biggest like thing of the movie where like they don't come back for the snap from the snap. 
that would be interesting. And I wonder how how are they going to reverse time, except for using a time machine, um, using the quantum realm. I don't know, or Captain Marvel. Maybe Captain Marvel has something up her sleeve in terms of like uh, abilities to do this. But but I'm ex so excited to see her go against Thanos as well, and seeing how she was just in her movie, she's great, and seeing her as this action badass character in this movie against the big bad that's going to be awesome and i really wonder how they're going to deal with thanos they're going to kill him how is he going to last is he going to last through the movie or till the end of the movie are they going to kill him or are they going to let him live i i'm it really is one of those blockbusters that i'm anticipating so incredibly like i'm so incredibly excited for it this might be my most anticipated movie of the year Maybe besides Star Wars Episode Nine, in terms of blockbuster movies, even though there are a lot of movies that I want to see that are not blockbusters, I just... And Star Wars Episode Nine is like the culmination of all the Skywalker stories, so is what they say, so it's it's really hard to decide. But, man, I really love this trailer, and it, I think it's probably my most anticipated movie of the year, so... Tell me down below what you guys thought of the new Avengers Endgame trailer. I, it just blew me away. So thank you guys so much for watching.